Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to manage gift cards in Odoo 16 point of sale. So gift cards are the prepaid cards that are issued by the vendors as an alternative of giving money as a cash. These cards can be used in online platform as well as in stores. The customers of the gift card can use it to buy certain products and services. It is important to note that gift card has validity as well as certain terms and condition. So let's check more about it. So just get into the point of sale and we need to enable the feature called gift cards. So go to configuration settings and just drag down. Now here we can see promotions, coupons, gift cards and loyalty program which allow you to manage promotions that will grant customers discounts or gift. So we can generate in two methods that is we can generate gift cards in two methods generate in PDF cards as well as scan existing cards. So we can also manage the gift cards directly from the configuration settings as well as we can also manage the gift cards from uh, the product tab. So let me manage the gift card from product tab. So we have already saved that feature. So when you create a product uh, like a, a gift card, uh, you can give the name, uh, its type, item, point of sale and company. So let me create a new gift card. Click on new button and here we have to give the name of the gift card. So let it be gift card, the name. And we have to choose the program type as gift card, which are created manually or automatically and can also send by email when a customer places order and uh, gift card can be used to pay orders. And we need to set the gift card product as gift card and uh, we can also set the uh, email template. So when you get into the email template here, you can see the information regarding the email template, like name of the email template and that applies to and the subject and the template description as well as we have a content tab which shows the content that have used for the gift card and under email configuration you can see we can give a uh, from address and uh, default recipients to address to partner and cc and uh, reply address as well as schedule send date under settings we can give further information like language outgoing mail server auto delete options and uh, optional report to print and attach so we're gonna print and attach that is gift card and here we can also uh, give a report file name that is your gift card now when you back to new that is we are creating new one right so when you back to new here as we have set uh, in order to generate a gift card in pdf file we need to print report so here we need to set gift card as a print report and here we can see the currency uh, that is applied so currently uh, the company default company is my company san francisco so the currency that is used by company uh, my company san francisco is usd so that's why this is applied here and we can also see that we have uh, made it available in pos and sales now if you want to use it for particular pos you can do that so either we can set multiple pos or single pos so let me use this for uh, one of the POIs that is shop and you can save uh, this and let me generate some gift card. So you can generate the gift card for anonymous customers that is for unknown customers as well as for selected customers that is you can restrict for particular customers. So let me uh, set it as anonymous customers uh, and here we can generate the quantity. So I want to generate two quantity of gift cards and let me set the worth of that is the card value of uh, the gift card and you can also give a date restriction that is deadline so that after that date this card cannot be used. So let me set a date and click on generate gift card. So as we have set the quantity as two, you can see that gift card uh, has generated uh, as uh, uh, two cards and when you go to the products, uh, you can see that uh, this is the product and when you get into the product here, you can see that the product type is set to service. So uh, while you're creating a product that is gift card, you have to give the product type as service and you need to set the invoicing policy that is prepaid or fixed. Now when it comes to the price here, you have to give the price uh, of the gift card. So currently this gift card uh, worth 50 dollar so we have uh, created gift card and all 
now uh, let me go to the products and uh, under gift cards and a wallet we can see we have generated two gift cards so which is shown in this smart tab and you can uh, use this smart tab and if you want to send this gift card for a particular customer it is possible to send so in order to send this gift card for a customer you need to configure the outgoing mail server so click on send button so that you uh, will get an option to add the recipient now here we can uh, choose the recipient so i'm choosing abigail peterson as the recipient and uh, we can see uh, the template as well as the subject just drag down and you can see we have set the value for the gift card uh, as 100 and here we can view the code of the gift card and uh, you can see the expiration date and we can also attach a file that uh, that that's of the gift card and click on send button so that the gift card will be sent to the customer that is Abigail Peterson so we have sent the gift cards uh, to the recipient Abigail Peterson so when you check the mail you can see the gift card will be uh, in inbox so let's check that here you can see that we have received the cards with its loyalty coupon card code and uh, the value um, due to some network issue the company logo as well as uh, the gift card icon is not um, loaded so here you can see the expiry date that we have given and you can also download this gift card so if you want to download that click on download button so that this will download and when you open this you can view the gift card with its company name and its uh, logo that is a photo of the uh, product gift card and uh, the card value as well as card uh, code and expiry date and the barcode now let's back to the generated gift cards and you can use a gift card so choose a code from here we can copy the gift card and uh, that is the code of the gift card and if you want to give this gift card for a particular partner you can set particular partner or else you can give, uh, use this gift, gift card for anyone so let me set abigail peterson as a partner and let me save the changes now let's uh, go to dashboard and uh, yeah before that if you want to print the gift card it is possible to print uh, so you can uh, get into the gift cards and when you choose the gift cards here you can select the gift card so that if you want to print the gift card you can click on print option and you can directly print uh, print the gift cards so you can view uh, the gift card when you open this so the gift card is currently available now let's open the session uh, that is shop we have restricted this gift card for a particular uh, pos that is shop so that you can open the session and you can set the opening balance so let me set the opening balance and click on open session now you can choose different products so click on home icon so that you can choose multiple products you can view multiple products so let me choose customizable desk as a product let me set uh, the quantity as 5 so here you can view the product with its price and the quantity now uh, let me set the uh, customer that is Abigail Peterson and you can enter the code so here when you click on ok here you can see that this gift card is not yet used so this this gift card can be used and if you want to apply this gift card you can click on ok so we have applied the gift card and you can see that a hundred dollar has applied for this gift card now you can click on payment uh, and you can make the payment by choosing the payment method and uh, uh, click on validate so that currently we have uh, placed the order by applying the gift card now you can also um, recharge the gift card so for that just go to new product and here you can search for gift card and currently you can see the value of the gift card is 50 and now you need to change the price of the gift card so i need to set the price of the gift card as a thousand so i have applied that now click on payment 
and you can choose the payment method and click on validate so that you can see that we have applied uh, the price for the gift card and when you open this you can see uh, the price of the gift card has changed into um, thousand now let's close the session and when you back to the products and go to gift cards and here you can see that uh, we have generated three gift cards and uh, the newly created gift card can be viewed over here oh now let me create a new point of sale for that you can click on the list view and click on new button so that you can create a new shop so let me give the name of the shop and you can save the changes so if you want to make any changes for this shop you can go to the configuration settings directly and we can see that the currently the point of sale is set to uh, NYC shop and just drag down and now we can change the uh, gift cards uh, generation method as scan existing cards now save the changes and go to products so let me create a new gift card so for that we have to give the name of the gift card all other details like type gift card product and template everything so let me give the name of the gift card and type need to be set as gift card and the gift card product can be given here and uh, the currency as well as you can also set the company and if you want to restrict this for particular company i mean point of sale you can set this for particular point of sale now you can save that and let me generate a new gift card you can click on generate gift card button and let's create the quantity that to be generated so let the quantity to be three and you can set the value for each of the uh, cards so let it be 50 now let me generate the card and when you go to the gift cards here you can see that uh, we have generated the gift cards now let me uh, copy the we can copy the gift card code and save this let's back to the shop that we have created and open the session so you can open the session and just close this now let me purchase something i'm going to purchase a quest block screen with five quantity and you can click on enter uh gift card price so we haven't selected any customer so we can choose this for any of the customer now let me uh give the code and here you can see that you will get a message that this gift card currently not used for uh, any of the employee or any order so you can use this by clicking ok so we have applied a gift card and you can see the value now let's make purchase of this now let me uh yeah click on payment and you can choose the payment method and click on validate so that we have made the payment now it's back to the order so if you want to uh, scan and use this gift card again you can do that so choose a product gift card and change it into price and choose a product gift card and give the code now you can apply the price So I'm going to apply the price as 1000 and you can click on payment uh, so that you can choose the payment method and click on validate so that we have completed the payment. Now when you close the session and go back to gift cards and a wallet here you can see you have generated one more gift card with its price uh, like you have used the existing gift card and recharged that gift card and uh, its balance is set to thousand so stay tuned for another set of videos as always stay awesome